Hey guys, before going into this feature battle, I just want to thank Luca, who sadly isn't um, connected through Google, so I can't respond to this message, but this this message gave me so much. Um, at, at the end there, he's saying that uh, I'm his best pocket tuber, and I deserve more subscribers, and just overall, uh, something like this um, makes my day. I came home very late from work yesterday, you know, where we're down. And reading a message like this, coming home, was, um, it gives so much. So, Luca, truly, thank you for this message. It made my day, it made me extremely glad. And I'm glad to have a person like you around. And, uh, yeah, just overall, this, this was a very powerful message. I really just want to take the time to thank you personally for this kind of message. It's made my day, really. So, without further ado, hit that intro music. What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle with Jules Trudel, of course, the Scarender. And today we're going up against, again, Tyson Atlas. Uh, he tends to actually. He has, I think, he battled me every stream, and by God, if he's not bringing it, I don't know what it does. Um, he's a very tough battle overall that I can't really introduce him more than enough. I really wish this guy was Pokemon for his own, but then again, he kind of have a lot of his going, so I get why he doesn't. But damn, if he's not a powerful friend, I don't know. Then what else to say? Uh, look through his team here. We got Fro, Heatmore. Oh, is it called Muna? I tend to screw with this Mushana and uh, Fletchinder, Executor, and Bunnelby. And just looking through his team, you know, we have a lot of bulk going into it, but also a very, very high presence of high offensive Pokemon that aren't really that fast. The things that are stand out with fast is his Fletchinder and the Bunnelby, and they're the only ones that I'm actually. Well, scared of due to their speed. I myself is using uh, Pharaoh, Barbarical, mm, Meowsic, yeah, and Monferno, Cradley, and Muck. And basically, I have a lot of fast Pokemon that can hit hard, but I can't really utilize them. So I want to try to use my Barracol as best as I can and see if I can break something. Since this team is so kind of chunky. I really need to dent something, I can't do that without setting up, so Barbarical is my main man, and yeah, well hell, just let's, let's just do it. So yeah, basically with all this in mind, let's go. So right, going into this battle, I just, I had an idea that Pharaoh could outspeed the most of the team, besides of course, the Galewing uh, Fletchinder. So he's gonna start with Mr. Hoppers, and I don't really fear this guy, it could be Scarf, that is a possibility. Or I should even say, yeah, I say for granted it's Scarf, but at this time I just want to go for a U-turn. He's gonna go to Jeff, which is a stored power, um, or what you call it, Mushana. I'm pulling this off again. So super effective damage and Choice Bandit did well, nothing there. And I'm just gonna go to Jazz, which is my Shell Smash for Ballad. Blah. <laughs> Barbarical. Wow, that is not a simple task to say, wow. And anyway, due to this being a setup Pokemon, I knew I can kind of set up against it. And like I said, all I wanted for this battle was to set up a Shell Smash and actually see if I actually can sweep from this range. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's a very, very real possibility. So my opponent was going for a Calm Mind. I was really debating whether or not I should go for another Shell Smash, but then again, Stored power might do a little bit too much, so I thought that, right, I'm gonna go for X-Sister anyway, because we got Tough Claw going on that. And Tough Claw is simply, simply enough to kill the Jeff with a Lord of Mushana. Uh, Tough Claw, Shell Smash, is, and X-Sister being like excellent coverage, uh, it definitely destroys him, but the throw, the throw, will live the stab Razor Claw with not, not much. But it will live, and sadly, he will end this potential sweep. Had he not get me out of there, I would definitely have swept him here and then, and this would not be an upload, of course. But here we are, <laughs> and we will keep going for another 20 turns. And, <laughs> damn it, 
that was such a nice niche too that they actually lived that. So it's gonna go to Scumflame Junior and do um, yeah, Will Wisp is uh, super obvious. And since I just got like one or two special attackers, I decided to switch to one of them. And I knew that my Cradle can kind of deal with this kind of pressure, or actually a Heat Glyph can deal with this kind of pressure. Then again, I knew it was gonna switch out here, and I was just going for a Sludge Bomb, really hoping that um, the Executor will not take this well. Uh, I predicted right, the Executor did come in, but Sludge Bomb does not do a lot here. I mean, it's, it's really taking that well. Plus, the major issue here is that even though he's super effective, um, he has Substitute on this. Yeah, I went for Stealth Rocks because I wanted to Scum Hinder to kind of. Um, um, get some nerf going in, but uh, yeah, that did obviously not work. I do realize here, since the Sitter isn't kicking in, that he's probably a uh, setup set with the, the berry that boosts some kind of either speed or it could be special attack. And not really wanting to find out, I decide to actually kind of sack Cradley. I need to break the substitute and then have something that can come in, force him out. And I knew that was my really own. It wasn't really real entry here. It's gonna go for the good range, and it does. Damn, it does a lot. It just executor is really, really formidable in the special attack department, and it really comes to show. So he will actually go for on some last minute substitute, but luckily for me, a sludge bomb is actually enough to break this, and that is truly important because I just I couldn't deal with a substitute going in. Like I said, he has a lot of bulk in his team, and when you deal with Pokémon with bulk, you kind of have to uh, have some kind of niche to make sure that they aren't in a range where they can recover or you know can come back. So I'm gonna come, go back into Raphael, which is Pharaoh, and um, well, U-turn is the safest move I have. And my opponent, of course, knows this and gonna bring the Scum Hinder Backflame, Backflame back here, and uh, U-turn is not gonna do a whole lot. Uh, but thanks to Stealth Rocks, it is nerfed to some fashion, so I knew that he's not really gonna utilize that in the fashion I, I thought it would. And I know I would speed him too, so I was thinking that he might be tempted to go for a Will-O-Wisp, and if so, I'm going to outspeed and raise the shell, of course, will kill it. No way to take that. And the Digger Spear or Mr. Hoppers is gonna come back, and uh, I felt that, right, this might be the best opportunity for me to kind of switch out and uh, go into Luther and uh, set up some screens just so last minute screens so I can you know get some footing going and I wasn't really fair in Executor this part because I knew if the Executor comes in that I actually can paralyze it with Thunder Wave so that was what's, what, I was, uh, what I was going with so I do decide here to set up a uh, Reflect if I remember correctly and he will get the double Pattaya Berry. And I, honestly, I just set up Reflect because I fought the last two Pokemon. Both the Mr. Hoppers and uh, the Heatmore was physical. So I felt that that was my easiest way to kind of dent his team in some fashion. And I'm just going to T-Wave this. Like I said, I'm only doing that because I don't want this to build any kind of speed if that's possible. And uh, basically try to shut it down. You know, even with the major, major special attack that it got. I am still quite formidable, or rather, I'm very able to deal with that. And I'm just gonna go and bring Barbarical. Like you guys saw before, it has the Exisor, and there is no way in hell it's gonna take that. And um, yeah, he's gonna fall here. There is just. <laughs> there's no going around it. And basically, I just want to try a thing here. Since I know that his Mr. Hopper is scarred at this point, I decided since the Reflect was up to just go for a Shell Smash. I just wanted to kind of showcase that, or rather, I just want to see if I can survive the combination. And from the damage there, yes, I can. And since the Shell Smash is going to give me double the speed, I will, will outspeed Mr. Hoppers here. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to kill it. That that poor bunny. That poor bunny is going to taste the shell. <laughs> and of course, it's going to fall. And his last Pokemon is the Heatmore. And... Um, I'm gonna say, sadly for me here, he just packed a Sucker Punch, so Barbarical did not get to showcase his complete brawn, even though we you know we had a good momentum at the start of the game, uh, it sadly 
didn't get to sweep completely here and uh, I was really sad about that because it would just have been so funny to see that happening but Barbarical is super formidable with Tough Claw so anyway, Zistag is my last Pokemon and he said on the stream here that he has nothing to hit this Pokemon with I'm just gonna go for a Nasty Plot and then after that going for a Vacuum Wave because the combination is just so brutal and mean but the Vacuum Wave will not kill it but since his life orb hit this fire blast, it's gonna get last residual damage on him before he falls. So that is GG. So Richard, thank you for this game so much, man. Um, I would think I finally got my semi revenge. She actually had two wins against me before this, and it was finally time to turn the tables. And Barbarical was close to doing so very early on, and I guess you know I was playing very very aggressive here and this time it paid off so it was really fun to see that working to be honest so yeah not a lot of afterthoughts here my my opponent plays a good game through and through here besides you know the barbarical very was very very aggressive for him fro was definitely the bulky pokemon you know to stop that sweep and i'll give my opponent that that had he not had a fro he would not have been able to win this battle at all, so uh, Fro is such a bulky po, what a champ coming through here. And uh, besides that, you know, I want to thank you guys for watching, of course, as always. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, because you kind of want to do that. It's, it's a nice place after all. And also remember, guys, the sky is limits, so have a good day, guys, and take care. Alright, bye.